Monster Illustrated by Urasawa Naoki was published from 1994 to 2001 and eventually called an anime adaptation from 2004 to 2005 running for 74 episodes. It was an extremely captivating psychological mystery thriller that made you wonder and second guess whether the next mystery that was discovered was real and how it ties into the story. As much as it explores many themes such as identity, human nature, and many others, it also concentrates on many characters that tell a variety of small stories that eventually all connect. Each had their own backstory that had depth and characteristics that distinguish each and make them unique. Many characters are introduced in the latter half of the story, and the fact that they integrate into the story so seamlessly was one of its biggest strengths. There are so many characters I find fascinating, like Eva Heinemann, Nina Fortner, Wolfgang Gregor, Detective Suk, as well as many others. And of course, Johan, who, in my opinion, was one of the most complex antagonists in fiction ever. There is one character in particular that kept me interested each time he showed up. This character was Detective Longe of the BKA. To me, he was one of the most unique and interesting characters in Monster. A major factor of this character was his ego and how it consumed him and almost destroyed him. Ego is a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance which is present at both. Ego has both positive and negative effects. It positively affects you by improving relationships, giving you self-confidence, and it's important to reaching your goals. However, a negative ego can do quite the opposite in diverse ways and may ruin your life. Some include thinking you are higher than others, looking down on people, may affect relationships, manipulative to others, not open to criticism, and many others. Everyone has an ego of their own, but it's how you manage it that can make or break you. Longay's ego is a prime example of a negative ego. Longay suspected that Dr. Tanma, an extremely talented neurosurgeon, committed multiple murders that Johan has committed and believes Johan to be a figment of Dr. Tanma's imagination. Hongei has solved numerous serial murder cases, he does not have a clear sense of justice and has an ego that clouds his mind. From the start, we find that Longe is extremely intelligent and rational. But as the story progresses and we see his lifestyle, it becomes clear that his ego is large and a big problem. Longe thinks of himself above others, and that no one is as smart as him. Instances include him interrupting his colleagues' chess game and telling them that it is pointless while looking down on them. He also outright says everyone on the first are dumbasses and cannot solve anything right. His ego affects his family relationships. He stays in his studies and self-isolates himself, which results in his family leaving him and his wife having an affair. Even later, when his daughter had a baby and she asked Longay to meet her, he did not show up because he is so consumed by the case of Dr. Tenma. Another example of his ego was when he was investigating the death of a young prostitute while overly questioning a secretary of a major about the major's involvement with the girl's death and creating much anxiety in the secretary, the secretary of the major ended his own life. Longay's ego got the better of him, but that did not cause him to change his ways, and that incident may have empowered his ego further in testifying his focus on one singular case, that case being Dr. Tanma. A major instance of when Longay showed that his ego thrived and evolved into a monster is when he talked about the whereabouts of Dr. Tanma with Gillen an authority on criminal psychology that has helped 
Yom Tanma multiple times and who knew of the existence of Johan. Gillen gave longer documents about the incidents that might have proven Johan's existence. Longe, of course, does not believe him, because there is no evidence and it all sounded like a fairy tale. Then, suddenly, Longe had a change of perspective when he sees a photograph of Johan and asked the whereabouts of Dr. Tenma. Longe said that he made a terrible mistake and walked out with a sly smile. Longe did not even consider anything Gillen had said to him. He manipulated Gillen without his knowledge and obtained information about Dr. Tenma's location. Longe could have talked it out to try to get a better understanding of the information and Gillen's situation, but he only cared about what he wanted, which showed his narcissistic personality trait. Gillen even exposes Longe's ego by saying that Longe fears being wrong, and if he is wrong, his whole identity would be tarnished, so Dr. Tenma must be evil, and he himself cannot be wrong. He completely avoided this statement and continued in his narcissistic ways. There is no definite point when we know that Longe finally faced the reality of Johan's existence, so we can only make guesses. We can start when he went on vacation in Prague and Czech Republic. While on vacation there, he discovered a picture book that led to yet another mystery to Johan's past. From then on, Lange traced the threads of Johan's past leading to the climax of the story, where he meets Dr. Tenma, and what does he say? He says he is sorry, which is an amazing moment and extremely rewarding. It is such a special moment and showed that he is now a vastly different person than he was in the beginning. He accepted his ego and overcame the negative aspects that ruled him. However, not too long ago, he still stated that he still believed Dr. Tanma is a suspect. Why would he say this if there is no reason to do so? Everyone in that room knows Dr. Tanma is innocent. So there was no point in telling a lie to those people. He probably didn't want to admit his wrongdoings in front of everyone, and therefore he chose to ignore them at that moment. He stated that throughout his vacation, he was tracing fictional characters, and when he saw Dr. Tenma, he had seen a real person and therefore his journey has ended. What could this mean? What he meant by this was that he was merely searching for Dr. Tenma, because to him, Tenma was always a fictional character that he had been chasing, and when he saw him, his journey had ended. In the end, Lange retires as a police officer, who becomes a teacher at a police academy while spending more time with his daughter and grandson, mostly through email and text. He made peace with his ego, and changed his life around with his loved ones.